This is the 2021 Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day at Red Rock Resort, presented by New World Graphics, custom shirt printing and embroidery. Don't blend in, stand out. And our next team is the Chaparral High Cowboys. We've got Coach Don Willis alongside Nelson Jimenez and Jeremiah Jones. Uh, Coach, same first question for everyone. Coming off a year with uh, no football season, uh, how exciting is it to be getting back into things? And what are the challenges in uh, you know welcoming a new group into this? Well, it's exciting. Like you know, we wanted to do this shit last year so bad. I understand why we couldn't, but uh, I'm so happy for for our kids and for these programs around the city that we're going to get to have a season. Uh, you know, so because you never know about things like that in and out. But. Uh, you know, the challenges are, you know, normally your kids come up to you in progression, you know, and they play freshmen, they play JV, you integrate them, they kind of know your system as you come. Definitely a lot more teaching out there this year. Uh, you know, trying to teach a lot more of the basics at the varsity level than you've had to in the past. Uh, but we'll get, get, get caught up to speak. Sure. Uh, I think you might be the first team to have the quarterback wide receiver uh, tandem up here. Is that a sign of things to come? Are you guys going to be able to do some uh, good things through the air? And what can you tell me about Nelson and Jeremiah specifically? Yeah, you know, uh, Nelson uh, kid played for us at varsity two years ago. Um, came in halfway through the season, started the rest of the year, and won some big games for us. Yeah, we're a big believer. I'm a big believer in him. Uh, I think he's a winner. Um, Jeremiah is new to us. Uh, but from what we've seen out on the field right now, he's a go-getter, and I, in my opinion, one of the best you know athletic receivers in the valley. Uh, Jeremiah, it seems like it'd be a big advantage this year to have a, not only a, an experienced quarterback, but one that uh, you know got some playing time. I guess I should say not only an old older quarterback, but one that got some playing time before. Uh, what, what stood out about Nelson, and is that going to be an edge for you guys? Um, what stood out about Nelson? Basically, you know, he's patient. You know, uh, he know the offense. And he already been out here in the, uh, in the spring, so we just all working together, trying to trying to get right. Um, and Nelson, how is it to, to throw the ball to a guy like Jeremiah? And what have you seen from him out there? It's really good. I have um, complete trust in him. You know, uh, I feel confident throwing it to him. I feel like he'll catch every every time. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Coach realignment this year seems like it's kind of opened things up for a lot of teams like you guys in the 4A. Uh, how exciting is it to, to look at your schedule and think like maybe we have a chance to achieve some things that uh, you, you know normally looks like it'd be even harder to do? Yeah, it's exciting. You know, I think it's opened up an opportunity for us, and uh, you know we're ready to take advantage of it. You know, we just got to keep putting in the work and, and keep pushing that door open. Uh, Nelson, how'd you keep your mind right? And I guess probably help your teammates keep their uh, mind right when you were denied the opportunity last year. How'd you keep looking towards uh, um, that? Year? I would just have everybody come out every day, get some work in every day, you know, have work every day. Um, try to keep them right, keep them fit. You know, I mean, everybody had some quarantine pounds on them, but other than that, we were staying all together, keeping the chemistry up. For sure. Uh, Jeremiah, we've heard a lot about the offense. What about the de defensively? What can you tell me? What's your identity going to be on that side of the ball? Um, well, uh, our DB is going to be our strong suit for sure. Uh, our linebacker suit, we just going to need more depth in, uh, um, in our D-line. We'll be straight. Sure. Uh, Coach, what, what are some of the keys? If there's one or two things you feel like you guys really need to uh, nail down to get to where you want to be, what would they be? You know, like Jeremiah said, we need to build some depth up front. You know, we don't want to have to be playing those guys both ways on both sides of the ball because that obviously wears down. Then you get an injury and you're really in trouble. So we got to we got to build some depth up front. I think we got some quality kids up there. we got to build more depth at it, though. And the next thing is, we just, you know, everybody's trying to get back together and match. We've got to build more consistency. we got to, you know, we can't have a good play, bad play. We've got to be way more consistent than we've been so far. Uh, Nelson, you put a lot of that on your shoulders to, uh, you know, oh, yeah. preach that consistency. And make yeah, definitely, better. definitely. Um, I do need to be more consistent. Um, we're working on it all, all summer, and hopefully I'll just I'll come to see you and have a good one. For sure. Uh, I guess we'll go to Jeremiah for, for the last word. Um, you know, just, just looking at what you guys can accomplish this year, uh, you know, how excited are you specifically? I know you're a newer guy to the program, but what's it been like just, you know, getting into Chaparral and, and looking at what you guys can do this year? We've been very excited. Uh, it's about to be a good season coming up. Uh, we just all need to be consistent and work on schoolwork and then we'll be good for sure. All right, there you go. The quarantine pounds are down and the consistency <laughs> yes, is up for the Chaparral Cowboys. Right. This is the Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day at Red Rock Resort.